Understanding Overplay One's Hand, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, overplay one's hand. This phrase is a gem in the English language, often used in both casual conversations and professional settings. We'll explore its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. So, let's get started and master another aspect of the English language together. Overplay one's hand refers to a situation where someone is overconfident about their position, resources, or abilities, leading them to take actions that result in their own disadvantage. It's like having a good situation or opportunity and then losing it because you pushed too hard or expected too much. This phrase is often used in scenarios where someone misjudges their leverage or advantage and ends up in a worse position than where they started. The phrase originates from card games, where a player might have a good hand, a set of cards, and believes they can win more by betting heavily. However, by doing so, they might reveal their confidence or misjudge the situation, leading other players to counteract more effectively causing the overconfident player to lose. This metaphor beautifully translates into real-life situations where people overestimate their position or power and face consequences as a result. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in everyday conversations. In business, the startup overplayed its hand by demanding too much from the investors and ended up losing the funding. In negotiations, he thought he had the upper hand in the negotiations, but he overplayed his hand and lost the deal. In relationships, she overplayed her hand when she assumed he would never leave, and now she regrets taking him for granted. These examples show how overplaying one's hand can apply to various aspects of life, highlighting the importance of assessing one's position accurately. To avoid falling into this trap, here are a few tips. Assess your situation realistically. Always have a clear understanding of your position and the potential outcomes. Be cautious with assumptions. Don't assume you have more leverage than you actually do. Seek advice. Sometimes, getting a second opinion can provide a more objective view of your situation. Understanding and using the phrase, overplay one's hand, can enrich your English communication, allowing you to express complex situations with a simple idiom. Remember, confidence is good, but overconfidence can sometimes lead you astray. We hope this video has been informative and adds value to your English learning journey. Stay tuned for more insights into the English language. Goodbye for now, and happy learning!